Hey guys, it's David here. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to set up a tab bar inside of Swift UI. We'll be creating this app that allows you to switch between different tabs and display different views. So we can go to first tab, we've got the red background, second tab, blue, third tab, purple. I will show you how to customize the tab items, the background color, and also how to make this look all nice. All right, let's create a new project. So go to File, New, and we'll create a new project. We'll save this as My Tab Bar. Run the app and you should get the Hello World screen. Okay, so go into Contents View, and inside of your body, you wanna create a tab view like so. Inside of this tab view, we're going to define all of the views that we will be switching between. So first, we're going to start out with a first view and we'll create this down here struct first view is going to be a view var body some view and here we'll just say z stack so we can change the background color color dot red dot ignores and we're just going to ignore the top so that the background color goes up to the top and then we'll say text first view. Copy this and make two other views. The second one, make it like a blue color. Second view. And a third view. Now we can define all of these views like so. Third view. And on each of these views, we need to put a tab item. And this is going to be the label that you see down here. So first, we're going to say first. We'll say second. And third. Let's run this and see how it looks. So here we have the first view, second view, and third view. Let's add an icon to each of these tabs. We'll say image, system name. Let's say first one's going to be person. Second one will be like a house. And third could be doc. I'm getting all of these system images from SF Symbols 3. You can go to this website, which will be in the description down below and download this. Then you can open it up and see over 3,000 symbols. Right click on it and then copy name and then you paste the name here where it says system name. Let's run this and see how it looks. There we go, there's our icons. Looking good. Now let's change the selected color. So instead of having it blue, let's change it to red. We need to go to tab view, go to the bottom, and say accents color is going to be color dot red. Let's run this. There we go. When we're on a certain page, it's going to change that color to red. Let's now change the background color of the tab bar. We'll say on appear UI tab bar dot appearance dot background color equals dots black and this is going to be a UI color so we'll specify that UI color dots black run this there we go now we get a background color that's black but it's a little hard to see the unselected items we will now change the color of the unselected items to do so we'll also do UI tab bar appearance and then we'll say dots unselected item tint color equals UI color dots gray and now you can see the tabs that are not selected have a color of gray okay that sums up this video if you found this video useful be sure to like subscribe and leave any comments that you have i'll be answering all of your comments thank you for watching and have a nice day